HitFilm Sensei here. Today in this video, we are going to do this really cool 3D transition. So this 3D transition is actually inspired by my friend Coleman BS, as he is known on the forum. He is from Germany and he has a series of tutorials on how to make some really cool 3D transitions. I will leave this URL link in the description below for his YouTube channel, which is hitfilm-cbs. And you can see that he only has 19 subscribers right now. Uh, so hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, notification button. So every time he drops a new uh, tutorial, you can check it out. But I would encourage you to go take a look at some of these. There are 20 at the moment at, the, at this time of recording. Uh, videos that he has out there and they're all really cool uh, transitions some of them are uh, two-dimensional so most of them are 3d they're really really cool transitions though so you want to definitely check out his channel for sure so let's go ahead and fire up hit film what i'm going to do is, is i'm going to take two clips and i'm going to drop them into my timeline okay and these are five second clips one of them is a clip of a duck pond here and then this is the ducks right here okay and i want to make a transition so right now they're just kind of butted up against each other and they just do a regular cut but what i want to do is i want to make a transition uh between them so i'm going to take the second clip and i am going to move it up onto a new track and i'm going to bring it in so that it is one second overlap now it could be one and a half seconds it could be whatever i want okay but i'm going to make it a one second overlap all right and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to slice off the first second of that clip the second clip and i'm going to slice off the last second of the first clip okay so that way i can work with just those slices all right re-adding grabbing my selection tool i'm going to right click on the second clip and i am going to make it into a composite shot click ok and then i'm going to come back out to the editor and now i'm going to grab the last second of the first clip and again i'm going to make it into its own composite shot as well okay and then go back to the editor now i have those two in the uh, media bin here and what I'm going to do is create a third composite shot and again I want it to only be one second and I do want to point out this is a 720p uh, video not a 1080 uh, but that's okay it doesn't matter for this demonstration and this third composite shot will actually be the transition that we're going to use and if I were doing multiple transitions I might label this transition between clip one and clip two or something like that so that I would know what all of those things are and now what's going to happen is is I'm going to take clip one and clip two and I'm going to drop them both into my one second timeline all right back in the editor I'm going to go ahead and delete those two and I'm going to put the transition in instead and it could be here or here it doesn't matter but now i'm all set up and ready to go and by the way i probably won't need these so i'm just going to remove them from this timeline here uh, and i'm going to go back to my transition all right so now what i want to do is is i want to make both of them into three dimensional planes so i'm going to click on this icon and say make them into a 3d plane it wants to add a camera the answer is yes and i'm going to go ahead and get rid of the red and green crosshairs uh, and I'm going to turn off the clip two for or the second clip for a second so that I can only work with clip one. All right. And I'm going to twirl open clip one's properties and I'm going to keyframe position and rotation X, Y and Z scale. So now I have keyframes on all of those. OK, if I go to the end of the timeline, what I want to do is I'm just going to do something really simple, but very easy and cool. So I'm just going to rotate the X one. And I'm going to rotate the Y one and I'm going to rotate the Z one, each one. So then the whole thing is just going to flip around like this. OK, so it looks sort of like that. OK, so now there it is. OK, also the position keyframe, I'm going to add another keyframe so that it's back where it is. But in the middle at half of a second, I just want to sort of push that back in Z space, maybe uh, negative 2,500 pixels for my 720p. So now it looks like this. 
Ah, looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay, now all we have to do is transition it to the other clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. I'm going to steal, I'm going to copy all of those keyframes. I'm going to steal them, and, and I'm just grabbing them all and then clicking Control-C, okay? And I'm going to button that up. I'm going to break open Clip 2 and twirl open the Transform Properties, and I am going to go ahead and keyframe the position the X, Y, and Z rotations. I'm going to highlight them all by using my control button and clicking them all. And then control V on my PC will paste all of those keyframes there, okay? So now they both are literally doing the exact same thing, all right? So now all I have to do is just transition between them. So what I, the way that I'm going to do that is very simple. I'm going to keyframe the opacity of clip number one. So I'm gonna go to this point here and I'm just going to keyframe it. And then I'm gonna let it come on through until it gets to that again. And then I'm going to make it zero. So it will actually keyframe across sort of fading in that little section in between, okay? So now it looks like this. And now we have the ducks, right? When I go back out to the editor timeline, everything that I did there is translated out here to this transition, you see. Okay, if I options and get rid of the checkerboard background so that it doesn't appear uh, weird, when it, you look at it, you can see, oh, uh, it looks pretty cool. And it was really that simple. Now, in theory, there are an infinite number of ways of making this transition happen, right? So to get more ideas on different things that you can do, I would highly encourage you, again, to go to the HitFilm CBS youtube channel and subscribe and click that little notification button and that way and you can see all the different ideas that Coleman has created and is continuing to create i will leave a link in the description below if you have any questions please feel free to drop a comment below otherwise thanks for watching if you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from hitfilm sensei consider liking the hitfilm sensei facebook page following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.